It is a single phase full wave uncontrolled rectifier with a resistant load, which we worked on in the previous video. So I recommend you to watch it first and the link is here. In this video, I am going to add a capacitor parallel to the resistor. And basically, the capacitor will reduce the voltage pulsing and it will filter out voltage variations to get a smooth DC voltage at the output. And the analysis is very much like that of the half wave rectifier with the capacitor filter in the previous video. Now, let us add a capacitor. Left click on your mouse, type series RLC range. Select, then press Ctrl key plus R to rotate it. Connect it parallel to resistor. Double click it. And from range type, select C. Give a value of 100 mu farad for capacitance. Apply, click OK. Change resistance to 500 ohm. Now let us run our circuit. Double click on the scope. Yes, now you can notice that the capacitor reduces the voltage pulsation. And it is almost DC voltage. If you watched the previous video about half wave uncontrolled rectifier with C filter, you will notice that in the full wave circuit, the time that the capacitor discharges is shorter than that for the half wave circuit. Because of the rectified sine wave in the second half of each period. Output voltage across the load in full wave rectifier circuit contains two positive half cycle for one complete input cycle of the source voltage. While in the half wave rectifier circuit, for the negative input half cycle, we got zero as an output voltage. And the output voltage ripple for the full wave rectifier is approximately one half that of the half wave rectifier. So the peak to peak ripple is del VO equal to VM pi over WRC. Uh, which will be equal to Vm over 2FRC. The ripple voltage is inversely proportional to FRC. Frequency is constant. It can be either 50 or 60 hertz. So by changing the resistor or capacitor, we can decrease or increase the ripple voltage. Let us increase the capacitance from 100 mu farad to 400 mu farad. Run again. Now you can see that the ripple voltage decreases and it gets almost DC voltage. But if you want to get a 24 DC output voltage, we can use either a step down transformer or we can use thyristor instead of diodes to control the output voltage and we will learn it in the next video when simulating full wave control rectifier but in this video let us use step down transformer there are different types of transformers and in this case i will use the linear transformer Double click on transformer. Let us make nominal power to 300 watt and frequency to 60 hertz. The RMS voltage on first winding transformer is 120 volt. And I will make the resistance and inductance zero in this case. To get 24 DC voltage at the output, in the second winding transformer, there should be 25.6 volt, and 1.6 volt will be the voltage drop across the two diodes. For each cycle, two diodes will conduct. So the total voltage drop for each cycle will be around 1.6 volt. 
and the voltage drop for each diode is 0 0.6 volt in this case. Since we don't use three winding transformer, so untick the box, apply, click OK. Now put voltage source at the right side and then make the connection. Now let us run the circuit. As you can see that now we have to afford DC voltage at the output. Thanks for watching the video and see you in the next video.